Hi right, guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to continue our Lua tutorials. So today we're going to learn how to use functions in Lua. So let me just open up the terminal. So, once I write vim, vim, and then I'm going to just so I'm just going to write vim. The first thing I'm going to do is save the file as the functions .glue. So. So here we'll just write code. So to create a function, to write function, let's just say function print. Let's just say function greet. So we have to put these parentheses. So we'll just say print hello. And then to end off the function, we write end. So let me just run the greet function. Then we'll just resave the file. So I'm just open up another terminal. Or I'm going to be running the code. So I'm going to say Lua functions dot Lua. So now it shows that. So anyways, so the next thing we're going to do is to, well, so the next thing we're going to do is to, like, so if we put the function in the variable, we'll first say h equal to greet. I can always h instead of greet. I just want to do the same thing. So, next thing we want to learn about is return values. So, in functions, there are these things called return values. So, if you want to add in a return value, write return. Now we want it to return. So write it like this. And if I run the and if I just write the greet function, it's still going to say the same thing. So let me just tag this out. So if I save it. It's going to show nothing. So, but if we write print greet, it's going to show what we put into the return value. So that's pretty much how return values work. So if I say something like name. And if I print the name variable, it should show the same thing. So let me just tag all this out. So anyways, so next thing we're going to do. So next thing we're going to learn about is parameters. 
If you say that fruit's name, name is a parameter. So, so let me just say, so let me just tag out this return statement. Actually, and then I'm not gonna do that. So I'm going to say return hello, and then I'm going to join it with the name variable. So we have to run the greet function. So, so we we'll just tag this out. So name was greet. It's going to. So we're going to name this greeting. So the reason I chose that is because we need to. Add the name parameter to it. So, 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 let me just write this. Now let's write that. So, next we're gonna use multiple parameters. So, let me make a new parameter called age. So, let me put something there. So, since the name parameter is first in the function definition, you have to put the name parameter first whenever we want to use the function. It's the same thing with the age parameter. So, let me just add this. So now it shows that. So anyways, we're going to create another function. So this function is going to be called add. It's have two parameters. First. It's going to have two parameters. First, num and second, num. I want to say result is equal to first num plus second num. And I want to say return result. So I'm going to end that function with an end statement. So let me just tag all of these out. So now, so now if I say uh, num is equal to add four comma five, and I print num. So this It says nine, so let me just I'm just going here. So let me write the number is, and I want to join it with the number. Now it says the number is nine. So anyway, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, so leave a like and subscribe. So bye.